Hello, everybody. Um, well, Facebook is down and so is Instagram and so is WhatsApp. So this video that I usually share in my Facebook group is now just me doing a video for you guys. So I wanted to talk with you today about hypnotherapy. So um, Wednesday through Sunday of this week, I am going into my annual spiritual retreat that I go to every single year and it totally fills my soul and it is something that I look forward to every year because it's all about spiritual development and I've been going for like 13 or 14 years um, and it's just amazing. And so what I wanted to share is that, that this, me going and it's all virtual this year again, but me going is basically like would not have happened if I did not find hypnotherapy. And so when I back like, oh my gosh, 25 years ago, um, when I was like 25 and I thought I was really late to the game and finding what I wanted to do with my life. Um, but when I found um, psychology, one of the main things was that I had to, I wanted to figure out a way that I could combine spirituality with psychology. And when I graduated from grad school, I was looking through my trade paper and I was like, what's this? You know, and I, cause we have to take continuing education credits and all that kind of stuff. And I saw this thing on hypnotherapy and I was like, huh, this looks interesting. And, you know, and it was describing all of this, like, you know, psychological jargon and it's like oh developmental and you know blah 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 like just a whole bunch of like psych psychological jargon and at the end they had chakra system as one of the things that they were going to talk about and I was like what <laughs> like I was floored because I was like oh my god this is totally right up my alley and so I knew that I was, you know, supposed to take this class. And so I did, and it started out as a six day class. And then that went into a two year internship. And then it, it, and then I think I wound up studying with the Institute for like six years. And so like, I am a firm believer, obviously in hypnotherapy and, and the power of healing that it has. And so when I, and, that, and this is what I wanted to talk about is hypnotherapy. So hypnotherapy is basically um, doing therapy in a really relaxed state. And when we're in that relaxed state, we don't have our ego defenses to block growth and go into deeper healing. And so any kind of ego defense like projection or intellectualization or rationalizing or just being like, oh yeah, I totally know how to do, like I totally get why I do this or all of these ego states, like our ego, as as you've heard me say, is like your frenemy and it is there to serve you and help you um, survive your childhood and your experiences but then it starts to kind of work against you. And so when we're in our subconscious mind, we're there 90% of the day, okay? You're that 90% that's daydreaming, that's dreaming, that's your imagination, it's your creativity, it is um, your spiritual connection, it's your dreams, it's your um, non-linear thinking, it is, um, where your beliefs and your behaviors and your addictions are. It's your feelings live in there and also like all of your bodily functions. So like your eyes blinking and your heart beating and your blood pumping, like you're not thinking of doing that. Like you're, you're in your subconscious. You're just being rather than thinking and doing. Okay. And so we're in that state 90% of the time. Right. And so when we work in that state, we heal on a deeper level and we get to these ahas. Like I remember when I took that six day training, I literally had two sessions on myself. It felt like I had six months of therapy in just two set sessions. And that is the power of this work. Because when we have like we have um, experiences happen to us, we make split second decisions and conclusions about ourselves. I'm not lovable. I'm not a good person. I, um, 
I am stupid. I am not worthy. The list goes on. I'm too much. And from those split second decisions, uh, I'm sorry, beliefs, we make decisions about how to behave, right? So I'm not worthy. So I'm going to people please and do everything for everybody else so that people can see how lovable I am and how worthy I am. And then I'll receive love back. This is that subconscious because the subconscious is like a sponge. And that sponge takes in everything. And it's like the motherboard of a computer, okay? And so if you're going about your day and wondering why you have these unhealthy relationship patterns and you're people pleasing, you could get it. But when you go back and you rewire that motherboard, so to speak, that's where the true healing and, and changes in behavior happen on a deeper level and a longer lasting level. And so when we go into that um, hypnotic state, we'll start with an everyday problem and then it's a regressive form of hypnotherapy. So then we'll say, okay, I'll say, okay, where do you locate this feeling in your body, right? Like, oh, I have sadness in my heart or I have tightness in my stomach. And, um, and then we regress you back to that first time you felt that same or similar experience in your body because we want to get you out of your head because that is your conscious, rational, linear, logical thinking mind. And we want to get you in your body so you could feel and experience what, um, what is unfolding. And so then we go back to whatever point in childhood or birth or in utero, or a past slash parallel life. And we do the healing there. So like you could go to when you were like seven years old and go to an experience with like your teacher or something or your, your sibling or your parent. And you process those feelings and you give that inner child, that little girl um, or inner child, a, a space to express the feelings that they couldn't express at that time. And so once to that person who um, was in that experience with them, so you're, because your adult self gets it, but your inner child who is still wounded does not. So we create that space for that healing to occur we get those beliefs and behaviors, right? Once you uh, feel complete with expressing the feelings and then we do the inner child healing work, right? So then we bring your adult self in, you love up on that little inner child and you give that child what she or he or they need, right? And then from there, um, we do this like beautiful healing completion where we just wrap your soul in light. And, and we also, the next phase is to um, change those limiting beliefs and behaviors, right? To positive, healthy ones. Because again, the subconscious is like a sponge or that motherboard. And so we want to reprogram that computer so you have healthy, um, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Um, like a old school, I'm going to be 50. Okay. So like a tape recorder, it's like the tape recorder running in the back of your head. We want to change the messaging on that tape recorder. Okay. Motherboards and computers are way too complicated for me. <laughs> and so we then essentially, I guess, reprogram that computer. So it has those positive beliefs. Like I'm worthy. I'm lovable. Um, I'm whatever. And then we then change the, the behavior that was associated with that faulty belief to a new positive one. And so, you know, when we continue to do work on this deeper level, patterns become clearer, right? As in terms of like, what is this pattern that keeps coming up for you? Um, and because we're working in that subconscious, like we're basically overriding that ego mind and we're tapping into your super conscious or your spiritual connection or your wise uh, higher self, okay? And so we begin then to rely on that higher self rather than that ego self and that personality self. And, you know, 
all of this to say that, you know, hypnotherapy started me on my spiritual journey. And it has been the most rewarding journey for myself. Challenging at times, yes. Hard, because healing is hard, absolutely, and 100% rewarding. And what I absolutely love to see in my clients and in my students is seeing them heal from doing this work and seeing how they become more and more spiritually aligned. And um, part of how I do this is through my nine month program, Chakra Chicks, which starts in a month. It starts November 5th. And so I have taken everything that I have learned in the past 20 years as a therapist and uh, doing soul work, and yes, I've been doing hypnotherapy since 2001. Our internship, our two-year internship was supposed to start September 11th, that weekend after September 11th, and we had to push it back until December. So that's always like such a pivotal year um, for me on so many levels. But um, so yeah, I've been doing this for 20 years. And so I created this program, Chakra Chicks, um, which is geared towards personal and spiritual growth, okay? And each month, we're deep diving into each chakra, um, the emotional, the psychological, and the spiritual aspects of each chakra. And then um, there are two classes a month, right? So I, I do a teaching and we do a meditation. And then the second meeting of the month is um, a hypno healing, which is a group it's a modified hypnotherapy session that is geared towards a group. And um, so we could target and heal what needs to be healed in that specific chakra, okay? Plus, I'm super, super, super excited about this. I um, have added, and you're gonna giggle, a VIP level, which is what I am calling a very important purpose level, which is a bonus class every month on soul mapping, okay? And if you don't know what soul mapping is, it's super cool. And it's where we will go back and we will explore each decade how it relates via the chakra system, but we will go back to each decade um, of your life at a time, find the patterns and the purpose that these experiences happen to you, because every time you have an experience, your soul is um, learning and evolving. And your soul, your human doesn't remember this, but your soul chose certain lessons and experiences in this lifetime so it could grow and evolve, okay? So you have ultimate responsibility for yourself um, and no like drama, triangle, shit. Okay. And so when you start to look at your life through these decades, through the chakra system, through hypno healings, um, at the end of the nine months together, you can see your soul map. Okay. What does that mean? It's like why you chose to be here as this person during this time, having these relationships that you're in and these experiences that you're in. And so we're going decade by decade doing the healing work. And so by even like month six or seven, seven, we're going to have an idea of what your map is and how you could live more intentionally with your life. So if you want to find out more, about Chakra Chicks, email me back. We could chat. You're also going to be getting a bunch of emails in the next few weeks all about it. Um, and if you are ready to sign up, there's a link below. So um, thank you, thank you, thank you for um, reading or watching this. And um, I will see you next time. Mwah. Bye.